What's going on, everybody? Brian Mann here, Hands-On Auto Training. Today, we're going to be discussing uh, crankshaft position sensor air gap. Uh, it's such a huge problem. It can cause so many issues with vehicles. If you're having a vehicle that has maybe one or two coils aren't firing, or the injector timing is way out of whack, or injectors aren't firing, you could have a air gap situation with a crankshaft or maybe even a camshaft position sensor causing you all kinds of issues. Let's take a look on a bench of how sensitive these things can be. Here we've got ourselves a, uh, this is a GM camshaft position sensor, and this is a Ford Reluctor ring, so I'm really hobnobbing it here together, right? But I want you to see that this little LED blinks on and off, and actually, let's get the scope set up too. So there is a missing tooth on this. This is a 36 minus one tooth type of sensor, as you see here. Uh, but let's get the scope on, and you will be able to see, as I rotate this around, you see the uh, blinking light corresponds to the, uh, scope going high and low. Perfect. Well, if I get this right to a point where this is going to turn on or off here, check this out. I get right on the edge, right on the border here. If I just flick this, this is on a metal bracket, this uh, sensor. If I just go ahead and flick this, it's vibrating back and forth. You may not be able to see it right now, but it is actually vibrating back and forth, and that is causing us that uh, wild pattern on the screen. So I'm going to flick it one time. I'm going to go back here, hit the stop button, and this doesn't have anything to do with your actual air gap on a vehicle because you're not going to have it mounted to a metal bracket. But you can see this is vibrating at a frequency of about, uh, what, 34, 35 hertz here. So uh, that is what's going on with that. But the air gap is such a crucial thing. We have to make sure that we understand uh, a little bit of variance with the air gap can cause all kinds of misfires, all kinds of rough running conditions all kinds of symptoms for your customer. So I've had GMs where you get the rust on the block causing it to uh, uh, expand out a little bit. It's just, you know, paper thickness, thickness, maybe less than a business card thickness. It'll space that out, causing erratic uh, crankshaft position sensor operation. Also, if you happen to uh, roll an O-ring as you're installing a sensor, if the O-ring sticks out too far and that O-ring kind of goes up underneath here, you'll actually pull the sensor away from the reluctor wheel inside the block of the engine and that will cause all kinds of problems too so be sure to take a look at the air gap or pay attention to these type of things it doesn't take much to throw it off premium members we got our meeting uh, February 13th 2025 at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time if you're interested in that uh, go to hands on our training.com we're going to be going over uh, crankshaft sensors uh, we're going to talk about different ones the uh, Variable reluctance, we're going to talk about uh, Hall Effect, do some bench, de bench demonstrations and all stuff like that. So if you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, be sure to let me know in the comments. If you like this type of content, be sure to like and subscribe, of course. I need that thumbs up and the notification bell rang for me, please. Also, if you want to learn more about this stuff, just sign up for handsonautotraining.com. We have the core package that's going to have some of this class that we're doing here. It's going to be all up there. We're going to get that going for you all. I'm trying to uh, give good information out there to help people out in our field. You guys take it easy. Have a great day. Bye-bye.